tractors, silos, equipment, tires, and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of baby frogs are all over. This ecosystem is absolutely coming back to life. This is wild. Oh, look, here's more frogs. goes out into the oblivion. This is insane, guys. And we're kind of out here on a levee slash dirt road. I have no idea how far out we can go, but I don't feel like I'm doing it. And they are also, looks like they are attempting to build a new levee that is really tall. help keep the water away from Corcoran and it looks like the only spot they have to finish is the road crossings right here so I, I'm assuming as the lake levels start coming up they'll start pat connecting those two levees together well, we're gonna find some more frogs right now this is just this is phenomenal this is this is just beautiful I've I've read stories about this lake from way way back before I was even my before my mom and my grandma was even born just the history of this lake is just beautiful right here you have nature and human trash mixing together and look at this if you go over here and don't hurt the frogs see how they're just jumping across the, across the top of the water that is because let's see if I can do this that is because there is just nothing but driftwood this is what's in the lake this is what's being washed off the mountains and it was now floating in the lake. It's just ground up bark and I'm assuming all kinds of nasty stuff that should not be down here. If there was no lake. Look at these frogs just jumping across. We're gonna walk over here. I got my kids out here. My wife kind of made a family day trip. I was honestly tempted to bring my jet ski out here, but I decided against it. <laughs> I was gonna put the jet ski in the water and just go out real fast and come right back. This is just phenomenal. Look how this road just disappears into the water. Silos, warehouses, shops. Uh, even tractors, where are the tractors at? Right there. Tractors, all stuck in the water, not able to be recovered at this moment in time. Uh, chemical bins. I don't know what that is. Oops. We're gonna walk over there, we're gonna check that out. Oh, baby a few more frogs jumping over I got my daughter running up to me right now guys so this 
This was recorded by me, Jacob, at Dad's Gone Live. But I made a family trip out of it, so I got my wife and kids with me. Hold on, Sissy, stay right there. Alright everybody, we're going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys like what you see, if you want to see some more stuff like this, maybe uh, you guys just want to see some frogs jump around in Tulare Lake, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and don't be afraid to follow our page and check out our live streams. Uh, we do a lot of scanner calls, we chase a lot of police action. I do not take my kids with me on that one. I am named, I named my channel Dad's Gone Live because the most important thing to me is family. Family man live streaming. So, as you guys can see by my shadow, got my daughter walking with me right now. And look at this. We got even trash out here. It's not good. This is an old ancient Indian lake that is now coming back. The ghost lake of Tulare Lake. This is the ghost of Tulare Lake haunting us, telling humanity we never should have dried it up. All this water was diverted for farmlands, and the farmers came in and started farming the lake beds. Now you got businesses, buildings, warehouses, tractors, equipment on this old ghost lake bed. All right, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like. It really helps on the channel. Way off in the distance, you can see a dairy that is completely flooded. You can only see the roofs.